Hello and welcome back to Mobile Pwn to Own 2017. Today is the second day of our largest ever competition. We've got another six attempts going, including another baseband attack. The day began with MWR Labs targeting the web browser on the Huawei Mate 9 Pro. They needed five different logic bugs to get code execution, but get it, they did. The successful demonstration earned them $25,000 as a late entry in the browser category and 10 more points towards Master of Pwn. Next up was 360 Security targeting Wi-Fi on the Apple iPhone 7. Here's where things got interesting. After a successful demonstration, things got a bit murky in the disclosure room. 360 Security used three separate bugs to exploit Wi-Fi on the iPhone, but one of those bugs was submitted in a previous attempt in the contest by a different competitor. Still, the other two bugs counted for a partial success, earning them $20,000 and six points towards Master of Pwn. While the intrigue of bug collisions is certainly interesting, let's not overlook the fact that 360 Security demonstrated an exploit that exfiltrated data from an iPhone just by connecting to a Wi-Fi network. NWR Labs was back to show us they find bugs in bulk. They used 11 different bugs plus some features to get code execution and leak sensitive data on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Their exploit chain started in the Samsung Internet Browser then leveraged a bug in Google Chrome and several other Samsung applications to install an APK, which allowed them to achieve persistence throughout a reboot. This impressive entry represents the longest exploit chain seen in Pwn to Own history and earned them $25,000 and 11 Master of Pwn points. The team from 360 Security returned for their own attempt to exploit Safari on the Apple iPhone 7. They succeeded by using a bug in the browser and a bug in the system service to exfiltrate data. The late entry in the browser category earned them $25,000 and 10 points towards Master of Pwn. Team MBSD decided to withdraw their attempt on the Samsung Internet browser from the competition. In our final entry of the contest, Asus successfully demonstrated a baseband attack on the Samsung Galaxy S8. He used a stack buffer overflow, which resulted in code execution. This enabled him to write persistent data to the handset. The exploit earned him $50,000 as the second baseband winner and 20 points towards Master of Pwn. That brings to a close Mobile Pwn to Own for 2017. As our largest mobile contest ever, we couldn't be happier with the results. A total of 32 unique bugs were submitted to the program over both days and contestants were awarded $515,000 and multiple phones. Of course, no Pwn to Own competition would be complete without awarding a Master of Pwn, and the team from Tencent Keen Security Lab won with a total of 44 Master of Pwn points. It was certainly well deserved as they demonstrated some very unique exploits. That wraps up Mobile Pwn to Own for 2017. It's been a great couple of days with some amazing research. We'll see you all next year.